Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a back channel by using Padlet.com. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm signed in at Padlet.com. I'm using a free account. Free accounts let you have up to three walls active at a time. If you need to clear a wall and reuse it, you can certainly do that. Let's click Make a Padlet. And in our templates, we have the option for back channel. This is a fairly new template available. Let's go ahead and click select. And like any other Padlet wall, you can give it a title of your choosing. I'll call this one Mr. Burns Classroom Discussion. And I always like to use the description field to give some direction to students. And I'll say, you know, please use this space to ask questions and answer questions during the course of today's lesson. And we can pick different backgrounds. Let's use thankful since it's almost Thanksgiving here in the United States. We'll use that background. Click next. I'm going to use the default secret link and anyone who has a secret link can write on it and now we'll start posting and we'll see right down here i'll write something like um, welcome to class please share a question that you have about yesterday's lesson Now, anyone who comes along to reply to this will be able to just click on the link for the wall and write his or her reply. And there's a reply. Now, a student who uses this, let's take a look at a student view of this. So a student view, student sees, in this case, the comments are on the left-hand side, and a student can write in something like, And make that post. Now you'll see down here at the bottom students can include the option to link to files or link to web pages to take a picture and here are the, all the other options they can use when participating in a back channel created in Padlet.com. You can see record your camera, record your voice, uh, do a screen record, draw, even add a map if, you, if they want to. And over here, as the teacher, I see here's her, these replies. Now, the reply, in this case, is anonymous because in my sharing settings, I allowed anyone who has the link to write on it. I didn't require any kind of sign-in. I could have done that, and, and in which case, students would have to enter their names or email addresses. So that's how you can create a back channel by using Padlet.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.